Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, what happens if my search was illegal? Please, pretty please even, start with this premise. There is a time, a place, and a person for everything. When it comes to being searched by a police officer, be it your person, your property, or both, if you decide to argue with a cop in that moment and on the scene as to the legality of the search, well, let's just say that that's a really, really bad idea. Not only will you be unsuccessful in convincing the police officer that these are not the droids that you are looking for, but you'll also generate evidence in the form of admissible statements which, even if they're not incriminating, are almost certain to be prejudicial to your interests. You're also going to run the very real risk of being held in contempt of cop and picking up gratuitous charges. That said, if you believe that the police have exceeded either their constitutional authority or their judicial mandate, meaning the cops either conducted an illegal warrantless search or that they surpassed the parameters of a duly issued warrant, or even if you believe that a warrant itself was illegally obtained by police misconduct, be it fabricated probable cause, intentionally omitted material facts, whatever, then an after the fact challenge is not only possible, but it's prudent. Remember I started this video FAQ by saying that there's a time, a place, and a person for everything. And when it comes to searches, the time is after the fact, the place is in a courtroom, and the person is your criminal defense lawyer. If there is a good faith basis upon which to levy a challenge to either a warrantless search and or to either the issuance or the execution of a warrant, then your lawyer will prepare a legally sufficient motion, electronically file it, serve it on all relevant parties, calendar it for hearing with sufficient time for everyone to respond, and then litigate the hell out of it. Whether you win, lose, or draw, one thing is for certain. If you follow this prudent path, then you'll likely avoid being held in contempt of cop and picking up gratuitous charges. That said, I want to thank you for your question and let you know that I appreciate your having asked it. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.